Hi Sachin. Hi. Welcome to Medlinks again. So first of all, thank you for agreeing to do this small <laughs> session. So for the viewers' information, uh, we did Sachin's uh, hair transplant. It was a repair hair transplant about seven months back. Last nine year, months nine months back, it was done. It was a repair transplant. So there are three purposes of showing this video. One is uh, that if unfortunately a hair transplant doesn't give you the desired outcome, there is still scope of improvement. Like we have seen, if the donor area allows. Second. It's a bit unique because uh, the chin also got an SMP done. So SMP is good for short term, but it may not be very good for a long term, and we'll see it why. And uh, the third importance is of this video is to showcase the importance of the hairline, of how just some hair in the front can change the look. You know, this is to showcase how important a hairline is in your overall hair scheme. And also fourth is the importance of medical hair loss treatment. Even after a hair transplant, so these are the four points that we are going to cover um, in this video. So, since you got a transplant done, uh, when was this trans your first transplant? The first one, twenty fifteen. So it was a long time back. You got a transplant done, which was a bit of work on the hairline yes. on the center. I, I think until here, was until the yeah, front was in here, and then a bit on the crown yes, right. also was done. So we'll see this picture. So this is the first picture. Wherein the front look is decent, you know, it's it's okay. Though the density could have been better, but still the front look is decent. But it is just the front look. We'll see another picture to see what actually was there when Sachin came to Metlinks. So this is the reality. This is a top view wherein we had some hair in the front. Which was looking good on the front head-on view, but then it was all empty, and then bit of transplanted hair left here. So this transplant was done five six years back, and that's where the importance of medical hair loss treatment comes. That okay, some hair here failed to grow, but that's okay. It may happen even when the surgeon has tried his best. Sometimes it does happen, so that's okay. But the existing hair went. The transplanted hair stayed, but the existing hair went. And that when the problem starts happening, and that is the importance of medical hair loss treatment, even after a hair transplant. Because your transplanted roots, most of them are permanent, but not the non-transplanted roots. So that we lose with time. So that is one thing that we should keep in mind. And then, such in during the thinning phase, such in got a SMP done. So this black portion that we are seeing here is the SMP. So SMP is gaining a lot of popularity these days. So it looks good in the first seven to ten days, maybe a month, when the pigment color is black. So it looks decent, but within two, three to four months, the pigment turns greenish blue, and then it starts looking odd. So if somebody sees from the top, how how did you feel, Sachin, about this? It uh, it starts to look off after a while, I think. Yeah. Uh, initially, I think when I got the SMP done, uh, I was told that it lasts only six months. Yeah. But this is where we are after five years, so I just got stuck with it. Yeah, so see, any, any tattoo, any <laughs> tattoo is permanent unless removed through a laser, but it changes color. The skin here is not very deep. The dermis is very thin. If you just touch your yeah. skin, it's not like this skin. Right, the skin right. is thick, so right. tattooing will persist here, but not here. Okay. So there, it fades and it looks this color. So we are not a big fan of SMP. We do it under very certain situations. And the patient should know that's not an everlasting thing. Three to four months is the good look, and then the color changes. So this is where the problem happens. So what difficulty were you facing, Sachin? Any problems in combing or anything that you felt while you were at this stage? No, I I had not combed my hair for for a long time. I think mm. uh, so. I I never used to comb. I was just using my hands, mm. more or less. Uh, but it was more about that uh, like I wanted some hair, yeah. right? Because pictures. When you take pictures and all of a sudden there is a bald spot, I did not like it. Yeah. So I wanted to get some hair uh, on my head, and that's where I came in. So now, so when Sachin came to us, of course we knew that we will be able to improve the look. But the problem happens is we have less donor area. So one hair transplant has already already been done. The donor is depleted slightly. So we have less donor area at the back. So we use a lot of body hair, beard hair, and chest hair. So we get used a lot of beard hair. So the hairline, this the reconstruction that we did here. Yes, we can come here. Let's mm -hmm. go. So the reconstruction that we did here was using scalp hair because on the front we want to use only scalp hair because that is what shows from the front. And we can just bend a bit slightly. 
what we did here is mostly beard hair. So we take hair from this part of the beard and uh, we cover it this. So the problem with beard hair is that there is a different texture. Though it grows very well, but the texture is different. So we want to hide it on the top where it's not directly visible. It gives us a good blackness, but it does not look very neat. So it hides at the back. So if you can just bend the thing and show it to the beard. So this is the part which is now as compared to this. So this is after nine months of his transplant. Here we have put scalp hair and here we have used beard hair. Now this area. So today we will be focusing on this area. And uh, so this will be Sachin's third hair transplant. The donor on the scalp is pretty less, but we'll still take out some hair from it. See hair transplant, in hair transplant, we are not producing any new hair. So we are robbing Jack to give to Peter. So once we take out hair from the donor area and if we keep taking out, it has to go down. So this is what we must understand that the donor area aesthetics will be compromised slightly. But once you keep slightly longish hair, it doesn't look too bad. So this is the balance that we need to create that an area which has a lot of hair, we take out some and put in the area which has very less hair. And then this area will tend to match this area and it looks you know, better. And also we'll be taking from the beard. I think we can show the beard. So if you see, you know, these, this isn't, this is the beard that we took last time. You see their hair has gone less, but we still have a lot of beard. So we'll be taking from the up margins. We'll taking everything from here. We may take something from the chest also. So by combining all things, we are targeting 1500 to 1800 grams to give not a lot of density, but at least a coverage on the vertex area so that it looks decent enough. So these are the four points that we wanted to tell you. First, a repair hair transplant is possible if the donor area allows. Medical treatment is important. SMP is a okayish treatment. And fourth, the hairline is the most important part. Even if you have very less hair here, if you have a decent hairline, your front look looks nice. So thank you for watching this video and uh, we'll keep coming with more such interesting cases and special thanks to Sachin thank who you. plays his trust <laughs> with Medlink and has kindfully agreed to do this session. Not many people do it. Thank you so much Sachin.